Place the fitting still in its packaging on the mains pipe in the position it should be welded. Thoroughly scrape the pipe within the marked area to completely remove the surface layer. Remove the fitting from its packaging and the threaded cap from the top of the T and check that the cutter head is flush with or slightly proud of the threaded stack. Holding the loading tool and the T in position with one hand, push the straps under the mains pipe and up through the slots in the tool. Ensure that the straps are not twisted or kinked. Clamp the straps in place using the lever locks. Rotate the hand wheel of the loading tool in a clockwise direction until the central indicator is flush with the top face of the hand wheel. The clamping assembly is now at the required loading pressure for fusion to commence. However, ensure that the saddle base fits squarely on the pipe, particularly in the case of range fittings. The service pipe can now be connected to the outlet of the tapping tee using standard electrofusion procedure. Insert the tapping key into the recess in the top of the metal cutter and turn in a clockwise direction. Continue until the pipe wall is completely cut through. This will be indicated by a reduction in the force necessary to turn the key. Retract the cutter by turning the key in an anti-clockwise direction until the top of the cutter is flush with the top of the threaded stack. The coupon of material cut from the pipe wall will be retained in the end of the cutter. Check that the o-ring seal is in place in the cap and screw it down hand tight onto the threaded stack of the tee.